I'm Pastor Jimmy Pickett, and the verse that I want to share with you today is 2 Peter 3, 8. Uh, and it says, Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Uh, you understand what that means? That just fascinates me uh, when I when I studied this and, and come across this verse years ago. Um, and, uh, and, and I'll tell you why. Okay, so one of God's days is a thousand years to us. And a thousand years to us, it's only one day with God. Now, look look at uh, in the beginning in, in the book of Genesis. He created the heavens and the earth in six days and rested the seventh. So in our years, it would be 6,000 years that he created the heavens and the earth. And another point about this is, now think about this. So on the seventh day, he rested. All right. Guess what? This earth age is is coming up on 6,000 years old, just like the amount of time it took for the creation. So what is the seventh day? It's the return of Jesus Christ, folks. Uh, Revelation chapter 20 is when he comes to this earth to establish the kingdom of God. And the point that I want to make to you is it's going to be the millennium, the thousand years teaching that will be on this earth when Jesus Christ returns. And we have so many of our brothers and sisters who are lost in the world today. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, quit putting it off. It is a free gift, a free, beautiful gift. And you're running out of time. If you have not been saved, it is so simple. Get on your knees and pray to God and say, God, I recognize your son, Jesus Christ, is my Lord and Savior. God, I know that he died on that cross so that I may have forgiveness of sins. Father, I am a sinner. And there's no shame in admitting that because we are all sinners. And then you say, Dear Lord, I pray that Jesus Christ would come into my heart today. Uh, Father, I pray from this day forward that I'll try to do my very best to live my life for you. Amen. Folks, I truly, truly believe if you said that prayer, and you meant that prayer from your heart, then you have salvation today. Amen. Praise the Lord. And hallelujah. Now, for us that are already saved, again, we have so many of our brothers and sisters who are lost today, and it is our job as Christians to get out and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Get out there and plant seeds of God's word. God's children are starved to death for a better way of life and for peace and for hope. And how could we receive that beautiful, beautiful gift, the most beautiful gift that God has ever given us, and not get out and share that with people who are lost? That's very, very displeasing to God. Uh, hey, can I get another amen? Amen. Hey, I love you guys because you love the Lord. And if you didn't, you wouldn't take the time to watch these videos and spend this time with God. I want to give a shout out to each and every person that is following our page. Um, we have a personal relationship with a lot of you already. Uh, me and my wife love you guys so much. And uh, man, I always say I can't help it. When I say those words, I love you so much. It just, man, I can just feel the spiritual connection with each and every one of you as we are brothers and sisters in Christ. Hey, me and my wife are praying for you, praying for your families, that God would bless you and build a hedge of protection about you. Uh, thank you so much for spending this time with me in the, in the word of the Holy God. Thank you.